All right. So we have uh, Man Eaters number five. And I think this will be my last time covering Man Eaters. Uh, it just doesn't go anywhere. And it's just boring. It's not even like fun to roast it or anything. It's just, I don't even know if Chelsea Kane knows what she wants to do with this series because we're now on issue five and nothing has happened, right? Like this whole issue is about her and her friend who uh, likes to talk to people on the toilet and she ends up getting kidnapped and everyone's looking for her. That's pretty much the whole issue. No one's turned into a cat yet. Nothing's happened. We're on five issues now. And and mind you, the fourth issue was nothing but advertisements like this. That was it. That was like the entire fourth issue. And this one just goes nowhere. It's like, oh, we got a VR toilet. Okay. It doesn't go anywhere. The But I'm going to give this issue one thing. The dad, right? While kind of stupid and clumsy, at least, at least is depicted as a loving, like, good father. You see him uh, talk about how his wife left him for a job and uh, him and his daughter, like, bond over it. And it shows that he generally cares about her and he's there for her. Like, in a typical SJW comic book, that doesn't happen. The dad is always like a piece of garbage or drunk or a loser who's not there. He's pretty much just like a money pit. This dad seems to have custody, for, if I'm if I'm getting it right, and is at least like, you know, caring, which is odd. Because other than that, this book is terrible. Like, nothing happens. I'll show you the ending. Like, in the ending of the book, she's like, got somebody over here in the corner. I'm guessing it's the girl that went missing. And she's like, is it time yet? Is it time? And then it ends to be continued. Like, we don't get to see what happened. It looks like, I'm guessing, the girl who went missing hasn't been uh, taking her estrogen magic pills, which keeps them from, I don't even know, like having periods, maybe, I'm guessing. I think that's what's going on. And um, she's going to turn into a cat. That's pretty much it. And this nasty cover, you can guess what that is. This uh, this book is so bad, but at least it, it rewarded us with this. <laughs> Look at this a whole splash page dedicated to the dad looking all weird, leaning up against something, and giving fatherly advice. So I'm going to read this entire. <laughs> I'm going to read this entire bubble. <laughs> okay, so here it comes. Hi, Maud. It's me, your inner dad voice. If you're seeing this, you're probably in danger. Don't worry. That's why I'm here. Whatever is going on, I know that you'll get through it. I believe in you. You are more prepared for this moment than you think. In fact, I've been teaching you survival skills since you were small. All that sage fatherly advice and physical instruction imparted by me is, a, is in fact a treasure trove of unique knowledge that will prove incredibly important. I suspect that you will have memorized it or can reference notes from your diary, but here it is just in case. Here it is again. To do things, do things in order. TV shows should always be watched in order, with two exceptions. Star Trek, the original series, which should be watched in order in the order it was intended to run, rather than the order it appeared on network television, and the Monster of the Week episodes of The X-Files, which can be skipped in order to watch all the mythology episodes in sequence, with the exception of the episode of Jose's Chung's, Jose Chung's from Outer Space. Never say anything bad has been avoided until we are positive that things have been avoided because otherwise it will jinx you. Never pay for the extra insurance on rental cars. Skiing is a bad idea. Don't let anyone talk you into it. If you kill a wizard, always search his body. They usually have potions. Remember to turn off your bedroom light when you leave the room. We are a Marvel family, not a DC family. It's in your blood. You may disagree. Marvel sometimes ha and you may disagree with Marvel sometimes and occasionally. You will question their story decisions. That's okay. You will meet people, find people, DC people, and they will tempt you. With some engaging DC titles, experiment, read some Batman. We've all done it, but the siren song of the MU will bring you home when the time is right. Check your tire pressure. 
Don't hold traffic up. Waiting for a parking spot. No one likes those people. More theater food. Movie theater food should be soft and quiet to chew. I hope one of these apples to your particular... I hope one of these applies to your particular situation. If not, call your mother. That's what I do. <sighs> wow. So somebody paid... F- f- I paid $4 for this, but I have a channel now that supplements these books. So like, I'm able to pick this crap up to give you guys like the rundown on them. And (laughs) this is terrible. And then of course, uh, the girl that left him, the mom pretty much, you know, even though she left him for the job, uh, implies once again, that he's an idiot. She's like, what's wrong with him? I don't know. The marriage counselors couldn't find out. And then look at this school rules for boys, no running in halls, no fighting. School rules for girls. No tank tops, no flip-flops, no miniskirts, no explorers bra strings, no short shorts, no fishnet tights, no camel toe, no visible panty line, no unsafe or natural hairstyles, no distracting clothes or grooming habits, no tattoos, no tool rings. No, it's not like that at all. Do you know what kind of uh, violations and Twitter rampages would be going on if one of these was true? Oh, Chelsea Kane, I don't even think you're mad at anything. I think you just <laughs> you just want the spotlight. But, you know, once again, I like to harp on this book because it took the spot of a book that really could have been good. Like Sovereign, the Comicscape book, right? That got passed out because of crap like this. And, yeah, I'm pretty much done with Man Eaters. This will be my last review of it. Uh, it's just going nowhere. I don't even think Chelsea Kane knows where this is going. Because, like I said, last issue was nothing but advertisements. This issue, you don't even get any kind of resolve. It's just more dopery. And, oh, look, maybe she might turn into a cat. In the third issue, her eyes were, like, cat-shaped. And it's like, what's going on? Like, you didn't even, like, move the story, like, one inch. You literally, like, regressed it. I don't know what's going on. Like, for some reason, the dad's running upstairs. Yeah. Like I said, um, the dad is depicted as, like, a good dude that get, gets a point. But other than that, this is uh, it's a shame that this is what's pushed over uh, actual good books. It's disgusting. This is books like this that are the problem with comic books for real, and they don't get the, they don't see that. But you know, comic shops will buy this, you know, sit on the shelf for ages, and uh, this will win awards for some reason, even though it's a terrible comic book and doesn't do anything like. This is some of the worst storytelling I've ever seen. It's terrible storytelling. It is. And it's unbiased. I'm not trying to like look for anything to say the book is bad just to say it's bad. It's it's terrible storytelling. All right. You skipped an issue to say advertisements and then you didn't even resolve the cliffhanger of the third book. I mean, what are you doing? This is why you you shouldn't just jump into comics and be giving books because you know Brian Michael Bendis. Anyway, Check out the links in the description, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one.